All right, in today's video, I wanted to talk about people pleasing. I really need to figure out if I'm in focus or not. I'm not even in the shot right now. <sighs> Let me get situated. Probably should have gotten situated before the beginning of the video. All right, in today's video, I wanted to talk about people pleasing. And the reason I could talk about this video is because it's something I've done my entire life <sighs> and it's not good. So I wanted to talk about people pleasing. I wanted to talk about the idea that your ideas don't matter. I wanted to talk about you doing things only to make other people happy and what it can do to your body. So it can cause a lot of exhaustion. It can cause you to be resentful. It can cause bitterness. It can cause a lot of situations that would have gone better had you actually just been yourself. You know, I know a lot of, uh, you know, I could speak for this. I know a lot of men these days are not dating very well because they're trying to please the women too much like they they don't they don't want any of themselves to show up they only want to do whatever they think the woman is going to want them to do and that is terrible because it's a push it's a push away you know like they're not going to want that they're going to want somebody who is bold enough to actually tell them what they want in their you know their life now i'm not talking about like over enforcing yourself i'm not talking about the idea that you should, you know, they should be obedient. You should be like this master with a whip and, and beating everybody up or whatever. But I am talking about the idea that everybody needs to have their own ideas and wants and everything met in any situation, whether a personal, like an actual romantic relationship, any relationship, because think about all relationships in your life, especially if you have a job that just totally beats you down and you always have to say yes to everything, you eventually lose yourself. And that's no different than, than like in a romantic relationship. You eventually lose yourself. Or if you're with somebody who's emotionally manipulative and they are going to do whatever they can to hover over you and get what they want out of you, even though they might act like the nicest person in the world. You might, this person, you might not have any idea. You might be almost hypnotized by this person. And in a situation where you think that they have your, your best interest at heart, but they don't. They have, and this is where people pleasing comes in. So you're always trying to please what they want you to do because you don't have any say in your own life anymore and it turns into this resentment and you start hating the relationship and a lot of people won't leave this relationship even though it's terrible just because of the fact that they don't like being alone because you don't know who you are and if you don't know who you are you don't want to be alone you're always wanting to be in these relationships because you have to be in this relationship because this relationship is is your identity at this point and if it's your identity you don't have you anymore, right? If you don't have you anymore, you are lost in the idea of people pleasing. And if you're always people pleasing, you don't actually know what it is that you actually want. And maybe you do, you just think that the other person is going to leave you if you actually tell them what you want. And if, is that the kind of relationship that you actually want to be in? And if it is, I guess, I mean, I think they call that simping or whatever, but it's just absolutely ridiculous to think of this idea of being in a relationship only because you don't want to be alone, but this other person doesn't actually care anything about what you actually want out of the relationship or what your actual thoughts are on the relationship. Now, a lot of people are in this, whether you're male or female, and I've seen it in a lot of my friends, and I'm like, this relationship just isn't going anywhere. Like. Or like maybe if one person has way more money than the other, or if you don't split bills or whatever, if the one person has way more money than the other, that person might be able to just completely manipulate the situation. For me, actually, it was the complete opposite. I actually had more money, but this person was like an oppressor, really, like this emotionally manipulative person. And I didn't see it until some other people started pointing it out that they were emotionally manipulating me, right? And so that is really bad situation for everybody involved because then this person, once you don't actually do something that they tell you to do, they think that it's some form of you hating on them and then they get mad and you know, then you're trying to please them even more. Meanwhile, you lose yourself even more than you already did beforehand. And it just turns into this terrible situation. Or like when I was, go when I was in school, I, um, 
I, like I had a lot of friends, but most of my friends were people who just really wanted to see what I would say next. Because I'm a pretty bold person, or brass, brass, or whatever they call, whatever they call it, uh, invasive, or whatever, whatever they call it. So I would just do crazy stuff, like during my day, just to kind of entertain myself. But then I ended up having all these friends, but these friends really only wanted to see what I was going to do next. And I started realizing this and I started not contacting them and they would call me and they'd be like, well, why, why aren't you calling me back? And I'm like, you really only want me around for your entertainment. Like when we actually started talking about things, it really wasn't that great. We really didn't have that much in common, right? So what, what kind of relationship is this? It's not really a give and take. Like I really wasn't getting anything out of this relationship and they were, really not getting a whole lot out of it either other than the fact that they would watch me do things or like when I was at the gym I would I, I was really strong when I lifted at the gym and because of that I would have a lot of people who would watch me during the day or dur during the, the workout I'd actually have this crowd I remember the first time I went out to uh, Philly area I was with uh, my now ex and we went to the Y and I just kept on putting more and more plates on and, and squatting it. And I had this crowd around me and, and she's like, this is, this is crazy. I said, yeah, it's always like this, but it just kind of starts feeling like I'm just everybody's entertainment, you know, hopefully I'm on screen. I can't see the screen. I'm just everybody's entertainment. So if this is you, if any of this has resonated with you, I think, you know, one of the things that I've actually like been forced to go through this year is been separated from everybody everybody even people that i know that <laughs> that i type it like text or, or like reach out to they're not even reaching out to me it's like god has just put this like you are in isolation mode buddy you really got to realize what you've been doing like i have plans for you i have you know purpose for you and you are so busy people pleasing everybody else that you aren't actually doing anything that you're here for. If you hear anything crazy that air show is practicing right now, I don't know what time they're coming out or flying out. Um, so <clears throat> you completely lose yourself in these situations. You completely lose yourself and you don't know who you are. And then you wake up <clears throat> and in your, you're in your forties like I am and you don't know what it's all been for. <clears throat> now I'm making this video so if you are watching this in your 20s, congratulations, maybe stop doing this. If this resonated with you, if you made it this far in the video, I don't know how far this video is. I actually gotta make sure this is recording. I think it's recording. Looks like it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. But if you're in your, your 40s or, what, or in your 20s or 30s or whatever, really take this into consideration you know you got to have relationships around you where both people's needs are met as much as as possible it doesn't have to be romantic but right now that is kind of my main focus but it's just it does not have to be just romantic like I've had so many jobs where it was all what can I do for the employer the employer doesn't care about me I'm just a number. Like I had a government job, right? The government is so notorious for just treating you as a number. They do not care about you at all. Like don't be any under, uh, under any illusion that the government job cares about you at all. Like maybe your coworkers care about you, maybe. But <clears throat> one of the things I've found, especially in government jobs, um, especially in Philly actually is when you leave a job you will never talk to those people that you worked with again so there was no point in actually people pleasing with them because you're never going to talk to them again it was the craziest thing like I'm here in Cleveland right now which is where I'm from and some of my you know past people that I would work with I still talk to but when I lived in Philly and I, I would ask my uh, girlfriend at the time who is from Philly and she's like, yeah, it's pretty common here. Like once you leave a job. So if you know that going in, like even if even these people I would hang out with sometimes after work. But once I left that job, it's like I didn't exist. I didn't exist anymore. So think about that, like no matter where you are, like, especially on the East Coast, like the Northeast, they don't care about you at all after you leave there right for the most part now I do have some friends you know here uh, fr from 
from my uh, post office life. But most of the time, when you leave that job, you are never going to talk to these people again unless that's like your post office and you've got to go there you know, to get your mail or something like that and you're going to see these people. But if it's not that situation, you are never going to see these people again. So don't base your entire life around that. Don't base, you know, like I, I was one of these people that would work 14 hours a day. You know, now they have a rule in place where you can only work 12 hours in a day uh, for the part-time people which I was at the time, but I was working 14 hours a day just to ignore my life because at my house was miserable because I was people pleasing there. My job was miserable because I was people pleasing there, but at least I made money. And so I lost my identity completely to the point where like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing anymore other than I love talking on these videos and camera gear and stuff like that. And I was running a, a photography studio before I left here that I thought it was going to continue when I got out to Philly, but it just didn't happen. One thing after another kept on happening. And before I knew it, I was just working some sales job that I really couldn't stand. And then I'm like, forget this. I don't feel like doing the sales anymore. So then I started going into getting government jobs because I knew it was really hard to get fired at a government job because I kept getting fired for the most random things <laughs> at these jobs in Philly for the most ridiculous things. Like I remember one time I, I got let go because I wasn't two and a half miles from the job. Two and a half miles from the job. That is the most ridiculous reason for getting fired and I couldn't even fight it. And I'm thinking, I did all this stuff for these people that I really couldn't stand. I did all these jobs that I couldn't stand for people who just let me go for <laughs> like two and a half miles. I was like five miles away from the job and that was unacceptable to these people so they got rid of me even though I had not missed a single day. They were trying to tell me that because I was so far away that I was gonna start calling off. I'm like, I haven't called off yet. I haven't called off yet. So, especially in your like 20s, late teens and stuff like that, I doubt I'm gonna get anybody in that range watching this, but if you are in those ranges like the 20s or even early 30s, learn who you are. Like I know some people who right, right now are going to school for stuff that they're not even planning on doing just so their mom and dad are happy with them. And I'm like, that's an expensive, uh, you know, people pleasing there, but like I've done it too. Cause that's kind of why I went to art school. My art teachers were telling me that like I was better than I was going to be even from the classes that I was taking, even in my final semester to just send a reel down to Hollywood. And I never did it. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I could have, but I didn't. And the whole thing is, I don't know. So I guess because when you are such a people pleaser, you eventually don't have confidence in your own self. Even though you've got your teachers telling you how good you are at something, you've got everybody telling you how good you are at something, and you still don't believe them because you've been people pleasing your entire life. You don't even know who you are anymore. And you've lost sight of everything. So really start thinking about this. Think about what you can do to, like I, I really, I'm not, I'm not saying to force isolate yourself because I think that can be bad, but I just kind of, it's kind of just happening to me now as it, it, whether I like it or not. But really think about, are you people pleasing? Is this something that you actually want to do? What is it that you actually want to do like work-wise? What is it that you're looking for in relationships? What is it that you're looking for in life? And you might not know. And so I've seen a lot of people say that once you, when you don't know the answer to that question, maybe you should just work on yourself. And that's just what I'm in the middle of doing, but I'm making kind of videos about what I have been going through, what some realiz realizations are that I have uh, come, across, you know, come to the conclusion of, and how possibly that I can get out of these patterns. Because at this point, I, we're 40 years in and we're still doing the same thing we were doing when we were in high school and it hasn't gotten us absolutely anywhere, right? It hasn't gotten us anywhere. The, I am blessed in the fact that I, I, I can do this now, like I don't have to go to a normal job. But other than that, like what, what was it all for? Like what was it all for? What did I do it for? Now. There are going to be people out there who would rather just go to a job clock in 
and they have stuff to do when they get home. And I know people like this, and I don't know if they're fine with it, but they're fine with it. They'll, they'll live with it, they'll, you know, they, they, can, they can survive like that, they have a good enough paying job that their hobbies, they can meet their hobbies and they can actually have their hobbies be a big part of their life, right? They only work like eight hours a day or six hours a day or something like that. And they can have their hobbies be a big part of their life. And if you're in a really loving relationship and a family and everything like that, I, I think that actually can take this. Your, your, your purpose in life might just be the fact that you wanna be the best father or mother that you can possibly be. And that is perfectly all right. That is perfectly all right. I would actually say that that is better than any other vocation is that you can be the best parent or the best partner that you can possibly be. And that might be your best thing that you could give to this world. Other people are going to not think that that's great at all and they're going to want to, I don't know, create some kind of widget or something like that. It really, I'm not gonna talk about the extent of that in this video because there's no point. But what, what is it that you really think about all the time? It might actually be, you know, being the best partner, parent, whatever that you can possibly be. It might be. But it might be something else. You might want to be the best videographer on the planet, you know. I mean, is that a possibility? I think that's another trap that we get involved with, with too, is like being the best of something. Just be the best that you can be and stop worrying about everything everybody else is doing because the reality is I'm filming here in the middle of a city. I've got people watching me, but nobody cares what I'm actually doing. So you, you need to come to a, a place where you are the one that cares about what you're doing and everything else will kind of fall into place. And I think that is it. Hopefully you could hear me in this video. I've never used one of these things before. Um, but yeah, really, what is it? And the, the last thing I'm, I probably should have mentioned earlier in this video, stop worrying about being the best of something. Stop worrying about comparing yourself to somebody else. It really doesn't do any good because they're probably comparing themselves to somebody else. Everybody does it to some extent for every situation in life, right? And you can't really do that because you're not them. That's like when I used to bodybuild, I would, you know, people would ask me like, oh, who you looking to outlift? And I'm like, nobody, just myself. That was the one true thing that I had was weightlifting, but my body just really can't handle it anymore. That's actually one of the things that kept me out of doing most sports and everything. Well, I mean, my ankle kept me out of it. My kept, an ankle kept me out of army too. They wouldn't take me, because, or the uh, military, because my, I wanted to go in the Air Force because my ankle was so bad. So it kept me out of a lot of things, but the idea of being the best at something really can destroy everything in your life. And that's it. Anyway, thanks for, uh, any comments, questions down below? Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Share the video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.